Sir, ma'am, I'm sorry to inform you that your child is an introvert. Has this happened to you? No? Good, because I'd be pretty freaked out too if Vader screamed on my face. But on a more serious note, this is common and the world is beginning to recognize that not everyone needs to be out there being the more conversational leader-like person ever to hit our lush green earth, or burnt and charred if climate change crippled our lives, but somehow not our internet. Then you'll likely have heard or seen this happen to someone you know. That's because in the age we live in, everything from school to relationships are all supposed to be done as if you were an extrovert. That's not to say every extrovert acts like they are the greatest thing since pizza pops, but instead it's what's been coined the extrovert ideal. You cannot be happy or successful at anything unless you're always out there being a great leader with a mass of followers. The unfortunate truth is that by research estimates, 50% of all of us, yes us, are introverts. That's excluding a number of people who would lie in the self-reported surveys because that is what society expects for them to do. But for the sake of simplicity, we'll stick with 50%. Okay, so now that we're done with the howdy duty, strap on your specs and don your lab gear. It's time to be a bit more serious. Now to truly understand what an introvert is, we first have to define it. Let's go with the simple, always there terms that we see from all the YouTube videos. Keep to themselves? They don't like small talk. Less happy. Less ambitious. They don't give a damn about people. Just to name a few. Let's go further though, and into the very substance that makes an introvert. Where they find their energy. Everything about an introvert is inside of themselves, from all the creative ideas, the fantastical imaginary worlds, their thoughts, the serene thinking of current events are all kept within. What that means is that meaning for introverts is found within, thinking and reminiscing on the staple that no matter where you fall on the spectrum, this is what introverts do. Here's a few lines from my best friend Carl Jung, quote, The introvert is distinguished from the extroverted type by the fact that, unlike the extrovert who is prevailingly orientated by the object and objective data, he is governed by subjective factors that the introvert interposes a subjective view between the perception of the object and his own action, which prevents the action from assuming a character that corresponds with the objective situation." End quote. Let's assume you have no idea what the heck that all meant. I sure didn't at first. Basically, he's saying that in contrast to extroverts, introverts will, for example, when seeing someone being beaten up by a group of people, stop and analyze the situation and drawing upon their own personal experience and coming to a conclusion about what should be done. Contrary to how long you assume this takes, introverts for the most part are quite adept at this, so it takes only mere seconds. Now contrast this with the extrovert. The expert would instead see it happening, rush in because someone is being attacked, no plan and context needed. That's not saying the extrovert is a literal blockhead who doesn't think, it's just showing the contrast of how situations are dealt with. Introverts draw upon personal experience to decide, extroverts act on what they see to decide. So let's drill more into what an introvert is. Territorial is a trait people don't often associate with an introvert, but it's easily seen once you know what I mean. Ever wonder why when you try and speak to an introvert and they kind of just say generic statements like, I'm fine, yes it is, oh that's good, and appear standoffish? Well it's not because they're shy, a word misused so relentlessly, it's like calling an apple a potato. Sure, it may look the same, well kind of, but really it's not. Digressing aside, you know you're invading an introvert's territory, the personal bubble. You see, personal space is incredibly important for introverts. It's relaxing, like being in a library, you know, before librarians and security guards stopped enforcing the shh rule. A few others that singly align nicely are high concentration skills, reserved and noticeable tendency to observe before speaking or acting. Ever see a kid in your class who sits away from the noisy popular kids and manages to get the straight A's? That my friends, is likely an introvert. Having people around being noisy and not focusing on what you're supposed to be doing, studying like the real cool kids, is a major turnoff and unlikely to win you any points with your straight A nerdy nerd introvert. Even in relationships for instance, they value those they allow into their territory intensely. Once an introvert lets you in, it's highly unlikely that they'll ever give you the proverbial boot unless you do something stupid like blow up the earth. If you've made it this far, huge thumbs up for you. It should go without saying, but we all know some will take it this way, that this isn't a bash at extroverts by any stretch. This is a look at introverts who have been shamed, literally in school, and even family and friends unknowingly thinking they're helping the introvert, but really not. Look up the extrovert ideal if you're interested, or just go for a TLDR by watching Susan Cain's TED talk, link in the description of course. You need to understand what introversion is, and it's different from being shy. Shyness is about fear of social judgment. Introversion is more about how do you respond to stimulation, including social stimulation. 
So extroverts really crave large amounts of stimulation, whereas introverts feel that they're most alive and they're most switched on and they're most capable when they're in quieter, more low-key environments. Well, my time is definitely up, and this wouldn't be good for my branding if I kept going for five minutes. So how about this? Click like and vote yes in the poll, so I'll know if this interested you in any way. Otherwise, do the opposite, and we'll move on to another topic. Do the usual stuff you do at the end, and we'll see you all in the next two weeks. Thanks for watching.